fall is here. <laughs> Probably the best season of the year, according to me, <laughs> but oh my god, it's so cozy. And today we are gonna talk about inspiration and what I wanna make for fall, both for my wardrobe and some other bits and pieces. Yes, so welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and you can find me on Instagram as Mrs. Valgren Makes and on Ravelry as Mrs. Valgren. This is my knitting or creative podcast where I most of the time just share what I have worked on since the last time, what I have on my needles, what I'm working on and some other plans but in my last episode I told you that I was gonna make a separate video about my fall inspiration and what I have planned for my wardrobe this fall so this is the episode about that. This is actually the second time I record this episode. Uh, I recorded this one episode last weekend but when I sat down and when I was gonna edit it there was just nothing there. I don't know where the file had gone and yeah I just couldn't deal with that <laughs> right then and there so here I am recording a new episode today. Uh, I think I'm gonna start to talk about where I get my inspiration because that is a question I get a lot of uh, on Instagram and here on YouTube actually and I get my inspiration pretty much everywhere actually. I love being out in nature, I love structure and colors of nature. I don't think nature ever can go wrong with a color combination. Everything is just so perfectly balanced and yeah that's a big inspiration but I would say that Probably my biggest inspiration is all of you guys. All of you on Instagram, on YouTube, that shares all of your makes and projects. And I love following both like brands that I like the aesthetic of. I like following artists so I can check on the color combinations. I can find inspiration in ceramic and take that color inspiration to knitting and vice versa. I can just, yeah, inspiration on Instagram and Pinterest is a great place to be. I don't use Facebook, but I can sure say that that would be the same probably. But Instagram is such a beautiful place and the crafting community on Instagram is one of the best places I know to hang out on. This YouTube channel and my account on Instagram has actually made me get to know people that I would never have met otherwise and that I am so grateful to have in my life right now and yeah. So Instagram is actually a great place to be if you like to be creative. And I thought that I could clip together a few photos that I have been saving in my Instagram saving posts and that is something I do if I find something that I love the colors of or if it's a dress from a brand that I really like that I could maybe recreate for myself or yeah, something. I save it on the little icons. I don't know how it looks like, it's, but it's like save posts and I have a few of them for fall and for my fall inspiration and I also have a few pictures that I have taken this summer when we have been out in nature of color combinations and structures that really inspires me. So I thought that we can take a look at them right now and when we come back I will share a little bit about my making plans for fall.
and clips that I have saved in my phone for inspiration this fall. I love the clothes and the colors and the structures of fall and winter clothes. I Maybe it's because of my knitter, so I love wool and the kind of more dressed and heavier clothes than you use in summertime maybe but um, yeah I am just enjoying this time so much right now and my head is filled with inspirations for fall on all the makes I want to do but I thought we can start to talk about my wardrobe plans I have this notebook where I just doodle or I make lists or I just write down something that's in my head that I just can't keep there. <laughs> I just want to have it somewhere else so I can remember what I thought about or something like that. It can be, like I said, lists. It can be just a few drawings of something that I know I want to do. There can be, yeah, pretty much anything that I want to plan for is in here. I don't plan like weekly plans or anything but I love making lists and like doodle little things that I want to remember for fall and yeah. So if I'm looking down a lot it's because I'm trying to get everything that I want to say said in this episode actually. So autumn wardrobe plans. I have a few things that I need in my wardrobe actually for fall and uh, I would really really need to do some like jersey t-shirts for myself that is probably not gonna happen because it's the most boring thing I know but hopefully I can find a way or a good pattern for a basic t-shirt but in woven fabric like linen or cotton that is something I am much more comfortable in and like working with. So that is on my list to do, to try to find or make a pattern for a basic t-shirt that I can wear underneath like uh, cardigans or together with my skirts or high-waisted pants. Not that I use pants, but <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, a good staple in my wardrobe that I can use pretty much every day. Another thing that I have on my list for fall is that I I use my me made clothes all the time. That is everything I use actually right now. I wear my skirts and my blouses and my knitted sweaters every day. And I need more skirts <laughs> in my wardrobe actually. I have a blue one, I have a caramel one and I have a black one all in linen or the one of them is in this kind of cotton viscose linen fabric but I really need some more staples in my wardrobe because the skirts I have <laughs> starts to get really worn out right now. They are great for work actually where I need to have something on that I'm not particularly needs to be like really really careful about but I need some good skirts so a black one is definitely on my list and something that I've actually started on I have finished it but I need to redo the waistline a little bit because it's I have done it with like this not a stretchy waistband so it's a button and a firm waistband and I need to fix the closure in the back because I have two buttons, always two buttons because you have to be able to stretch the skirt out if you are really full of food or like me, some parts of the month my belly is actually really swollen so I need to adjust, readjust that sometimes but uh, yeah black skirt is on the go. I also want to have maybe a beige or a brown one in linen and I've actually ordered like this coppery almost this color of a linen fabric also that I want to make 
a skirt that up. So I have three skirts on my making list because that is something that I really, really need. So I can wear them with my knitted sweaters for winter, actually. And one color the skirts. I like my skirts pretty long, actually. They get longer and longer. I could imagine myself not all the way down to the floor, but maybe just like 10 centimeters over the floor, like quite full and high in the waist. And yeah, that's what I'm going for this fall. So a couple of skirts, basic t-shirts, and I would like to make a wool coat actually, but when I cleaned out my winter closet, I actually found that I have a black coat that I can wear this winter. And although I love making all my clothes, the clothes I have that actually is still fitting and in good condition, I'm gonna start, I'm not gonna stop using. I want to have them in my wardrobe as long as possible because of environment <laughs> and if I have bought something I want to get the most use out of it so that is gonna stay in my closet for this winter so maybe a wool coat would get pushed to the side <laughs> for some other time but I would really like to make a wool coat at some point. So knitting plans for my wardrobe this fall is actually just stuff that I think I need or stuff that I I would like to have in my wardrobe actually. You saw in my last episode that I was really inspired by a picture from Sondefloor and their winter collection last year and I've started a pair of black and white colorwork mittens so that is on my making list. We are actually <laughs> getting a puppy this fall. This is so exciting. I have been wanting a dog since I was a little girl, but it has never been the right time for it. But next week we are actually picking up our little Bilbo. So yeah, I'm so happy about that. But for dog walks and going out in the forest with him, this fall I thought that I actually really need a pair of half gloves like mitts and I would really like to have them quite long like ribbed quite long and then just a hole for the thumb and then kind of a pair something like that because I have this weather jacket this windstopper jacket but it's actually quite wide in the arms so I would like to have the mitts quite high up so I don't get cold on my arms. So that is something that I actually need <laughs> in my knitting for fall. And I would love to make some kind of basic, maybe all over black, but mostly black sweater <laughs> for fall actually. And this summer when we were away on vacation, we stopped at uh, Östergötlands Ullspinne. So I bought quite a lot of yarn. I bought three, these three black ones and one white one. And then I bought three of this gray one. This is Vichogan. It's just the most beautiful yarn <laughs> and it's so soft and so squishy. And out of this black one, maybe just a plain no frills black one or maybe I would do a new version of my vest custom that I showed you in my last episode, the striped one, but maybe where I go all black on the top and just some black and white stripes on the bottom. I don't know but that's a little bit of a plan. So something really basic but maybe with a hint of color work somewhere. That is something that I really would love to do. And I would really, really like to have a huge gray wool scarf. I have <laughs> balled up this beautiful unspun yarn from Ullcentrum. This is their 
like yarn that's similar to Plotolupi. This is two strands of this yarn because I balled it up two strands together in this huge ball because this was actually a little bit more fragile than the Plotolupi one. So maybe a two ply huge scarf will come up on my needles pretty soon. That is something I really really like and enjoy a big woolly scarf for this winter and fall. And this is absolutely beautiful. I have one more skein of this so it can be quite a big shawl actually. And that is something that I would really like. So yeah, that's a plan for fall. And that's actually everything I have wrote down on my list for makes this fall. And as you noticed, I don't write down exactly the pattern I'm gonna use because I like to be able to see something, be inspired and do the things I really love to do. So maybe I have a plan for a black sweater, but if I see a colorwork sweater that is that I can use this black yarn and just a hint of color work somewhere or a structured piece that I can work with the yarn. I like to have that cre creative space where I can choose as I go, but I have a, some sort of plan in my head on where I want my wardrobe to go for this fall. So that is actually everything I wrote down for makes that I want to make for myself. Other things I want to do, I have wrote down on a list that I call crafts, where I wrote down I would love to be making some more punch needles, things. <laughs> I would like to make a pillow, maybe one more bag. I would like to make a pillow for maybe my parents. I would like to be working a lot more with my punch needling. I started this spring when I took a course online and I actually really enjoy it. It's so quiet and peaceful and rhythmic and yeah, I really enjoy that. I have actually started on a pillow so that is on the go but I would really like to get more stuff in punch needle for myself. Something else that I've been thinking about for this fall is I showed you probably in my first or second English episodes a mock-up dress for this dress actually uh, that I made in a plain unbleached cotton fabric and I actually like started to like that mock-up so much that I decided to keep it and uh, use it but it's a little bit too plain actually it feels like the cotton and my skin just blurs together I need to have some sort of interest on it and one plan I had was to do some embroidery on it and that is actually something I still am thinking about maybe on the collar maybe on the button plackets on the arms maybe on the skirt, I don't know exactly how, but I have some inspiration pictures saved on Pinterest. So that is something that I want to do for fall. I would also like to knit something for my husband that I've done. That is done, it's washed, it's everything is done. He got it for his 36th birthday this week and that is so fun so I'm gonna show that one in my next episode actually where I show you what I finished. I would also really love to make something for my younger one. I don't know what yet actually because he's super sensitive. <coughs> actually right now he's super super sensitive to everything but I want to make him something, don't know what, maybe it will be something that I sew but just because I don't know what I'm gonna knit that doesn't itch him right now. Another thing that I would love to make for fall is to knit my 
brother's son a sweater for his second birthday. Elias is turning two in the end of November and I would love to make him a sweater for that. Maybe it will be one of the kids sweater in the new collection from Jarbo. Their new collection Sagan was just taking my mind away. It, I, that was so incredibly beautiful, everything and the kids collection there was actually super super beautiful there was this oh this gray sweater with a color work band on the bottom and some lettic lettish braids i don't know if it was just on the cups or it was yeah go and check out Jabo's new collection sagan there was so much beautiful there and the kids sweater that is gray with some green color work on the hem is actually something I have in mind for that. Another thing that I would really like to do actually is something that just popped in my head this weekend. Oh, I was watching old episodes of Bernadette Banner. I love that YouTube channel and she was making Professor McGonagall's witch hat. Uh, the one that looks like a deer stalker almost with ear flaps and oh my god that is so beautiful that is so not something that I need or would wear outside but it's just something so fun and so beautiful and I thought that maybe if I make it I could like have it like a accessory in the house or um, yeah just put it on a pedestal somewhere, I don't know. That was just something that I was so craving to do. So I actually ordered some black wool fabric that I am planning to use for that. So if I have the time, if I have like this whole day where I just can get down and just do something like that, that is definitely on my list for fall. And I can't have an episode about fall inspiration or inspiration in general without talking about my friend Anna. She is such a big inspiration for me and I am so lucky to be able to call her my friend. She has a YouTube channel here on YouTube. She, her name is Bookcraft and she is Sjösvärd or Sjösvärd. I don't know how I'm gonna pronounce that in English, but I will write it on screen here uh, on Instagram. And she is such an amazing crafter. She makes everything. She weaves, she knits, she sews, she spins. She, yeah, she, she do pretty much everything there is. And I get a lot of inspiration from her and we have started talking on Instagram and a few weeks ago she texted me and asked wouldn't it be fun to make like an autumn knit along or craft along together just to make this fall a little bit more cozy and I was so excited and I said yes we had a meeting and started the hashtag and the craft along for this autumn called Craft Along Autumn 2021. This is a craft along going on on Instagram where you can use a beautiful bingo tray that Anna made and you can just use the hashtag and we can inspire each other to do stuff together this fall. There is stuff like craft in nature, get inspired by colors or get inspired by nature, um, fika and do your craft or maybe create something magical. You can just do whatever you want there just so it's magical for you. You can uh, create in wool, um, finish a project, try something new. There is a bingo tray that Anna made on Instagram, so feel free to use that and join us for Craft Along Autumn 2021. 
and if you do so you will be uh, joining for a competition about two prizes one from Anna and one from me and in the end of September we are gonna pick a winner from for both of us and that will get some prizes we will join you probably half time through September maybe in a live on Instagram or something we will keep you posted about that and talk a little bit maybe about the prices and how everything is going for us in this craft along and just feel free to join whatever craft you are doing actually it doesn't need to be knitting it could be anything so yeah let's inspire each other and just make this fall even more cozy I know some people actually have a hard time with fall and winter when it's getting dark and rainy. I love fall, it's the best in the world where when the air gets crisp and I can well wear my woolly sweaters again and yeah, I just love it. But it can only be better when you create something together with other people. So that was everything from me today actually. I hope you had a great time watching this. This is a little bit unusual for me to do these types of episodes but I really think it could be fun to do something else this fall other than like my ordinary <laughs> episodes. Uh, feel free to um, subscribe and like this video follow me on instagram and i will see you soon again with a regular episode where i share some of my makes that i am making have a lovely day